Hello everyone, this is Glenda Winkleman and welcome back to Creative Grandma. I have another wonderful crochet pattern for you today. This pattern is number 508. It is the Loving Hug Prayer Shawl. I am having trouble trying to figure out how to give you the best picture of this shawl because it is quite long. It's over 60 inches long and I just can't get a very good picture of it. Now this here is the edge of the shawl and then the bottom you can see this very lacy look. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can see this real pretty lacy look on the end and this is the shawl just bent down to form a collar very very pretty very easy design to make this design was made using the stitch of the week peekaboo stitch so i hope i hope this gives you an idea of what the shawl looks like like i said i was having a little bit of trouble uh trying to uh photograph this so you could see the whole thing uh, but this is it it's in a beautiful pink and white blend yarn from Stitch Studio, so I'll be right back and tell you everything you need to get started on making this shawl. The yarn I use for this project is Stitch Studio Picnic. The color number is 06 Lollipop Pink. It's beautiful, soft shades of pink and white. Very, very calming, soothing color. I used a size I9 crochet hook 5.5 millimeter. Now this is a lightweight yarn so if you do not have this yarn uh, choose whatever yarn you want to use. If you use a worsted weight yarn I believe the uh, shawl will be uh, larger than what my dimensions are. So if you have a lightweight yarn I would suggest using the lightweight yarn. You're going to need to chain 95 so get your chain 95 ready and I'll be right back. While you're chaining 95, I just wanted to tell you this pattern was kind of a special pattern for me to make. My mother has dealt with cancer um, just about half her life. She dealt with lung cancer and she survived and now she just recently went through ovarian cancer five years ago and she also survived with stage uh, 4 ovarian cancer. Uh, the things that people go through when they're dealing with cancer or any illness is I, I just don't know how people get through what they do. Uh, with the loving support of family and friends, it, it makes a world of difference when you're facing diseases like we have in this world today. So this shawl was named The Loving Hug because it just, when someone is dealing with such an awful illness, woman or a man, uh, it's something special when you make a gift from the heart, when you make a gift that surrounds that person with warmth and a feeling of comfort, it, it can make all the difference in their day. So this is just a special... Um, pattern for anybody dealing with an illness anybody who is helping a person dealing with an illness uh, family do suffer right along with the person who's sick it's a, a tremendous responsibility to try to help that person get them well see that they have the things they need so I'm hoping that this special pattern here it goes out with all my love and and from my heart to everyone uh, who needs a special hug. So this pattern is from me to you and I hope it brings a, a nice warmth, a nice feeling of love and hope. So back to the pattern and thanks for listening to me regarding the specialness behind this pattern. I'm back. Now you will notice that my chain is a lot smaller than yours. Now I already have the shawl done. It's a pretty simple pattern so I don't want to remake those first several rows because it's just too many stitches to try to do a video to show you how to do it. Again this is the peekaboo stitch. It's number 221 from the stitch of the week. So I'm going to start and show you how to do it and then you'll just work across your chain 95 to the end and then I will meet you at the end of each row. 
So to start your shawl, you're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all in the second chain from the hook. So you're going to skip this first chain and you're going to work into the second chain. So insert your hook, yarn over the hook, bring it through the stitch, yarn over the hook, bring it through two loops. You just made your first single crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two, and now you're going to work another single crochet into the same stitch, the same chain stitch. So insert your hook front to back, yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops on your hook. This is your first single crochet V stitch. So you have a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all in the second chain from hook. So to work this pattern, all you're going to do, this is the start of your repeat. You'll be re repeating this across your chain. You're going to skip the next two chains. So skip one, two, insert your hook into that third chain. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in that same chain. You're going to skip the next two chain. One, two. You're going to insert your hook into that third chain. You're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. You're going to skip the next two chain and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that third chain. And that is your repeat across. You will continue that until you get to the end of your chain. So skip two chain and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the third chain. Skip two chain, work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the third chain. And you should end with your single crochet V stitch right into your last chain. So go ahead and work across and I'll meet you at the end. I'm over to the end of my chain and this is what your chain should look like. Little single crochet V stitches across or shell stitches however you prefer to call it. We're going to turn our work for row two so just turn your work. Now for row two it's really important because Row two, you start with a half double crochet and you end with a half double crochet, but all the other stitches are double crochet. So when I work this pattern, every time I get to the end, I make a double crochet and I have to rip it out and remember to put a half double crochet into that last stitch. <clears throat> it just helps so your work stays at an even height going up and down your pattern. Okay. If you hear that, that is my Malamute out there howling at the ambulances going by. So excuse uh, all the background noise if you can hear that. Okay, so for round two, we need to insert our hook. We're going to skip this beginning single crochet. We're going to insert from front to back in the chain two space. You're just going to put your yarn over your hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. This is where you're position, positioning yourself to start row two. So for row two, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. The first two chain act as the first half double crochet, and then the extra chain one is the chain space we need for there. So now we're going to work a double crochet into that same beginning chain two space. So insert from front to back and work your double crochet. So there you have a half double crochet. It's a chain three, but it counts as a half double crochet, chain one double crochet. So now what you're going to do for each chain two space across until the last, you will not work in that last one. So for every chain two space across in each V stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. You're going to chain one and a double crochet. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain two space front to back, 
yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. That is your first double crochet. We need to chain one. You need to work another double crochet into the same chain two space, yarn over the hook, insert it front to back through that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. So there you worked your stitch, a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. And this is your repeat in each chain two space across to the last chain two space and do not work in that. The last one will be different. So I'll show you one more time. So we're going to work a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet into the next chain two space of the next V stitch. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. Chain one. Yarn over the hook, insert it into that same chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. You just made your next double crochet V stitch. So you have a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Find your next chain two space, work a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet all in that same chain two space. So go ahead and continue across working one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, in each chain two space across and stop before you work your last V stitch and I'll be right back to show you how to end this round, this row. I'm at the end of row two and I'm over to my last single crochet V stitch. So to work the last stitch we're going to work one double crochet, chain one, and one half double crochet into this last chain two space. So yarn over the hook, insert it into that chain two space front to back, yarn over the hook, pull it through the space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. That is your double crochet. You're going to chain one and now we're going to work a half double crochet into the same ending chain two space. Yarn over the hook, insert it front to back through that space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the, the space, yarn over the hook and pull it through all three loops on your hook. You just completed row two. So to do rounds row three, you're going to turn your work, you're going to skip this beginning half double crochet and we do not chain. When we're working this peekaboo stitch, we never chain at the beginning of the rows. You're just going to insert your hook into the front of that chain two space, and you're going to work a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet. I'm sorry, if I said chain two, that's a chain one space because it's your half double crochet chain one. So sometimes my brain gets ahead of myself. Okay, so you just worked a single crochet, chain two, single crochet into this beginning chain one space of this double crochet B stitch. So now all you're going to do across is you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each one of these chain one spaces across in the center of each double crochet V stitch. So just find your next V stitch, insert your hook into the center of that chain one space and work a single crochet, a chain two, and a single crochet. Find your next double crochet V stitch, insert your hook front to back into the center of that chain one space and work a single crochet, 
chain two, single crochet, all in that same space. And that is your repeat, and that's what you'll repeat across to the end. And you do work the single crochet, chain two, single crochet, right into the end V-stitch, right up in that chain space there and go ahead and work across and I'll meet you at the end of row three. I'm at the end of row three and you can see where we did our base row of the single crochet v-stitches. The second row was the double crochet row of v-stitches. So now rows three, four, and five will all be the single crochet v-stitches. So we just worked row three so now, now rows four and five will be exactly the same. You're going to turn your work. We're going to begin row four. Remember, no chaining when you're doing this stitch. You're just going to insert your hook. You're going to skip this first single crochet. You're going to insert your hook right from front to back in that chain two space. And you're going to work your single crochet chain two, single crochet all in that beginning chain two space. And it should just line up, be right on top of the next stitch. So you're just going to continue working that stitch across. You'll find your next V stitch, insert from front to back in that chain two space right in the center and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Find your next V-stitch, insert your hook front to back in that chain two space, and work your single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that same chain two space. So go ahead and work row four across in the same manner. When you get to the end of row four, turn your work and work one more row exactly as row four, and you'll have a total of five rows and I'll be back at the end of row five. I'm at the end of row five and this is what your row should look like, your piece at this point. The repeat of this pattern will be from rows two to five. You will work one row of the double crochet V stitches and then you will work a total of three rows of the single crochet V stitches. This row is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. This row is the single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So to make this shawl, you need to continue working rows two through five until you get to row, um, I believe it was 159. So you need to work a total of 159 rows. So when you're counting your rows, just start at the bottom, look for that V stitch, look for the holes, and count by holes if that's if you're not sure. So there's one, two, three, four, and five rows that you made. So go ahead and work to rows 159 at the end of row 159. Uh, it's probably going to take you a while, so uh, you can just come back to the video and then just skip forward until you're at where we start the border. So I'll meet you at the end of row 159. I am over at the end of row 159. This is quite large. Let me zoom out a little, whoops, so you can kind of see it. You have this little edging. So that's your last row, 159. And row 159 is going to be our first side of our actual border of going around our shawl. So you already have that first side finished. So now to start the border, like I said, your first side is already finished. That's 159. So all we're going to do is when we're over here at the corner, we're just going to turn our work sideways. This is a little hard to film because of how large this shawl is on the table. So to work down the long length of our shawl, all we're going to do now is we're going to, let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, your last stitch was made in the corner in that last double crochet V stitch here. So we're just going to turn our work and we're going to go into that same opening. 
and we're going to work around this end stitch here. So insert your hook from front to back, yarn over the hook, pull it through that space, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops. You're going to chain two, you're going to insert your hook into that same space front to back, yarn over the hook, pull it through the space, yarn over the hook, and pull it through two loops. So you just made a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So this is forming your corner. So this is the top row, and now you're going down your sides. So to work down the side, you're going to skip this next row, find the hole. Usually the best way is to look for the holes. This is a row, this is a row, this is a row, this is a row. Just look for those openings. So you're just going to go in those, those openings. You're going to skip this next row. You're going to insert your hook into the next row and stitch right in that opening. And you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. You're going to skip the next row you're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet around the end stitch of that next row. And that's all there is to it, working down the length. I'll show you one more time, so this is your repeat. You're going to skip the next row. You're going to insert your hook into the next row, and you're going to work a single crochet, a chain two, whoops, and a single crochet. So go ahead and repeat that down the length and stop within about two or three rows wherever you come out at the end and I'll meet you there to finish off this side. I'm over towards the end of our long, the 60 inch side length of our shawl. And I stopped three rows from the end, one, two, three. So if you went farther than that, go ahead and rip it back out so there's only three rows. So you want to end here. Well, not end here, but you want to stop here. So I'll give you a second to do that. You should have one, two, three rows unworked. So what we're going to do, because this was an even number and we needed an odd number, I know we did 159 rows, but because we started our first V-stitch in the next row down when we did that border, then we had an even number, so what happens is you have an extra row. So what we're going to do is we're just going to skip these two rows. So when you get to the corner, you skip these two rows, and you work that single crochet, chain two, right in this last edge stitch right here. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Now this shawl has so much give because it's a lacy pattern, you can't even tell that you skip two rows. So that's what makes it nice. It keeps a nice look to your design. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start working on our bottom of our foundation chain here. So when you look, let me try to get some of this yarn out of the way. When you look at your pattern, you can see here is your little starting thread. So you know that right here, this was our first V stitch. So we're going to insert our hook right in that bottom of that first V stitch. So you'll see the big opening and then if you look, you'll see this uh, strand of yarn here. You want to go above this. You want to go above that strand and, and go in between that strand and the next. There's just a small hole there. So insert your hook front to back and work your single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the base of each one of our single crochet V-stitches across. So when you're looking at this, if you're new to crocheting and you're thinking, oh my lord, where, where is that V-stitch? What you have to do is look for your 
double crochet v-stitch it's one row up that might make it easier so look for that v-stitch here it is you're going to notice that then the next v-stitch is right under it here and then you want to go in between let me you want to go between that one strand of yarn here and the top of your work so insert from front to back and work your single crochet chain two single crochet all in that same space okay we're going to look for our next V stitch so you're just looking if you look and you see where your stitches are coming together it's like a TP shape so look for the next one I tell people to look for the double crochet because they're easier to see because they're so much bigger you go to the base of that double crochet V stitch you skip this strand of yarn here I don't know which way is easier for you to see it with my finger behind it you skip that strand you go above it insert into that space front to back and work your single crochet chain to single crochet you're going to look for your next stitch I'll show you one more time and then you can go ahead and finish across look for the V stitch follow it down to the base you want to go in between this one thread here of strand of yarn and the top work your single crochet chain two single crochet go ahead and repeat that across your work and I will meet you at the corner I just completed my V stitches across the narrow edge of our shawl so now we're getting ready to start the long side of our shawl the last side of this border because row 159 actually was the first so we only had to work around three sides so I'm turning my work so the long side is facing and we're going to work that in the same manner that we did on the other side let me zoom in here quickly I just worked my last single crochet chain two single crochet in the base of that last V stitch so what we're going to do is you're going to look for your first row end stitch which is here you're going to insert it into that space and work your stitches right around this end stitch so front to back work a single crochet chain two and a single crochet all around that same first row end stitch we do not do any chains on the corner we'll be doing that when we come around again we'll be chaining two at the corner we're going to skip this next row and we're going to insert our hook into the next row end stitch so front to back and work a single crochet chain two single crochet in that same row end stitch and you can see I'm working right over top the stitch and around it so go ahead and work the the long side exactly as you did the other you're going to skip the next row end stitch and you're going to work a single crochet chain two single crochet into the next skip the next row end stitch and work a single crochet chain two single crochet into the next repeat that over to the third to within the third row end stitch and I'll meet you there so to start round two round two is going to consist of we're going to work a single crochet V stitch in the chain two space of each single crochet V stitch around when we get to the corners and we're going to chain two so insert your hook into the chain two space of that first shell yarn over the hook and pull it through you're going to slip stitch in that space you're going to chain one and then you're going to work a single crochet chain two and a single crochet all in that beginning chain two space of that beginning single crochet shell so this is the beginning of round two so you're going to find your next V stitch your next chain two space which is in the center of that V stitch and you're going to work a single crochet chain two 
single crochet. You're going to find your next V-stitch. If you're not sure, look for the double crochet one below, follow it up, that's your center. So insert your hook front to back and work a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So go ahead and work over to your corner stitch, which is this one. This one right here, you can tell this is the last V stitch across the top, and then this one starts the side. So when you get to this V stitch here, stop, and I'll be right back. I'm over to the corner of our first side of round two and you can see how it gives that nice little delicate repeat of the pattern. So here's our second round putting our little single crochet shell stitches on top of the other one. So now since I'm at the corner, this is our first shell working down the length. So in order to make this transition nicely to the next side, we're just going to chain two. And then you're going to turn your work so you're working down the long side. And you're just going to repeat that around the three sides. Once you get to the corner, you're going to chain two and then you're going to continue working a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet in each one of those chain two spaces of each shell across or each V stitch across to the corner. When you get to the next corner you're going to do the same thing. You're going to chain two. You will put your last single crochet V stitch here. You will chain two for the corner and then you will continue working across the next side until you go around all four sides. So work across, chain two at the corner, and then work down the other side, chain two at the corner, and so on until you get around all four sides. I'll meet you at the end of the fourth side and show you how to join. I'm over at the end of round two and like I said, this is extremely large to try to show in the video, but this is what your border should look like. I'm working down the long side, and this is the fourth side of round two. So I'm just getting ready to finish off. I just worked my last shell stitch, my single crochet, chain two, single crochet, V stitch, shell stitch, however you want to call it. So now I need to finish the round and join. So we need to make our chain two for the corner. So chain one, chain two. We're going to come over here to this beginning single crochet of that first single crochet V stitch of the round two, and we're going to slip stitch our round together. So there, every corner should have a chain two. So if you forgot to do that, I'm sorry to say you, you kind of need to rip out and go back and put these chain twos in. Work your shells across, chain two, shells across, chain two at the corners, and, and work that around. So our third round, our last round of our border, is going to be a simple repeat. I'll show you how to do the first one. We're going to insert our hook into the center of each V stitch. So insert from front to back and do a slip stitch. So the first one we will chain three. This will act as our first double crochet. Then we're going to work another double crochet in the same space. So yarn over, insert into that space, front to back, yarn over, pull it through the space, yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops, yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. So the first one is worked differently because your first double crochet of the round will always be a chain three. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to go down into the top of this, I'm not sure if you can see it, come down to the top of that last double crochet made. You're going to go in through that and then you're going to go into the side underneath it. So you're going under two loops, yarn over the hook 
and bring it through all loops on the hook. So we're going to work this in each chain two space of each shell and each corner around. So let's do it again. We're going to work two double crochet into this next center of our next V stitch. So work one double crochet. Work the second double crochet all in that same chain two space. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to come down and you're going to go in the side, the top side of that last double crochet you made. And then you're going to go into the side of the stitch in that next strand of yarn. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on your hook. And this is what's going to form your last final border. I'll show you one more time. Yarn over the hook, work a double crochet into that next chain two space. Yarn over the hook, work a second double crochet in that same chain two space. Chain three, one, two, three. You're going to come down and you're going to go into the top of that last double crochet made right in that front loop. And then you're going to insert your hook in the side of that double crochet just under that one loop on the side. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops on the hook. Okay, I'll show you one more time and then what you will do is you'll repeat this in each chain two space of each shell and in each corner chain two space. So let me show you just one more time so you have the hang of it. Yarn over the hook, insert your hook into that next chain two space and work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook and work a second double crochet in that same chain two space. chain three, one, two, three. You're going to come down and you're going to go in the front loop of the last double crochet you made. Then you're going to take your hook and you're going to insert it under the side, just the top side of that same stitch. Three loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and bring it through all three loops on the hook. So that is how you're going to work your border. So go ahead and repeat this in each chain two space of each V stitch and remember to go in the chain two space of each corner. Work around all four sides. I'll meet you here at the last chain two space and show you how to join your round. I'm at the end of round three of our border of our prayer shawl and we're going to join our last and final round. You're going to count up to the top of that beginning chain three. So count one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that chain three space. Yarn over the hook and pull it through all loops. You just joined your round. And I forgot my scissors. Let me see if I can grab a pair here real quick. I'm just going to fasten this off. I'll weave this in to my other stitches. Let me zoom out just a little. This is really kind of big. It's hard to see. Um, this is what your border should look like. You can see my bad spot on my table. Cover that up. So this is what your border should look like. You have the two rounds of the single crochet V-stitch and then you have the round of the two double crochet and then your chain three slip stitch. So very pretty, very delicate border for this very loving shawl. I appreciate everybody stopping by and crocheting with me today. This is very special to me, this shawl. So this is uh, in dedication to all those people 
who are dealing with cancer and this is just a, just such a lovely gift uh, to wrap them in a loving hug. That's where I come up with the name. This shawl, it just wraps them in, in the love that it took that you made this for them. They can just feel the love, the warmth. Use this pattern for somebody you love or for somebody that just needs a loving hug. Somebody in a nursing home, anybody very special pattern to me so thank you everyone uh, this pattern is available on my website www.creativegrandma.net and thanks so much for stopping by